Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Hello there. Thank you for listening to me while I sit here and I tell you about my country and the reason why I'm here today. Honestly, I'm here today to tell you the reasons why I believe the world today is corrupt and a sick society. And, and I feel like us leaders can get together and make this place a better place simply to live in. So first let me start out with the most important topic, which is terrorism. All too often, we are reminded that terrorism continues to inflict pain and suffering upon our people. Hardly a week goes by without the act of terrorism taking place somewhere in the world and affecting innocent people who just happen to be at the wrong place in the wrong time, including maybe even one in your even in one of your countries. In Lebanon, we have lost many innocent lives due to terrorism. There is projected to be at least 1,900 deaths in 2006 just off of terrorism. This cannot continue to happen. What is why? Why should this continue to happen? All right, when us leaders, or else at least the leaders with the real hearts, the courage, to stand up here in front of the United Nations, in front of all these leaders. Look at you, all these leaders. Do you honestly have enough courage to sit here and talk about this? I didn't think so. I'm different. I'll swing at the bat for my country. Next issue is the war crimes. A war crime is committed by evil regime that does not justify other nations to commit further war crimes in response. Not even well-intended nations. Charges of war crimes in the 2006 Lebanon war refers to the claims of various groups and individuals including Amnesty International, Human Rights Watch, and United Nations officials who accused both Hezbollah and Israel of violating international humanitarian law during the 2006 war and warned of possible war crimes. These allegations include interna inter intentional attacks on civilian population, on infrastructure, disproportionate and dis indiscriminate attacks, the use of human shields, and the use of prohibited weapons. There are, there are rules of conduct that nations must follow, which Israel has not. On one of the most important of those rules is that you do not start wars, which Israel has violated war crime. You do not attack nations that have not attacked you one of your or one of your allies. A violation of this rule is considered a crime of aggressions under international law. Israel, in fact, started the 2006 war when Israel launched waves of airstrikes on Lebanon. We retaliated and thus began the 2006 war. And finally, the most important issue, which I take very deeply in heart, is the women's rights. In July 2010, Equality Now issued Women's Rights Action 3.6 calling on the government of Lebanon to recognize the adverse effects of the discriminatory Lebanese national law has on the families of Lebanese women married and foreign men, and to revise the Lebanese nationality to the law to ensure that all the Lebanese citizens have the equal right to confer Lebanese nationality on their spouses and children. The nationality of Lebanon only allows a man and not a woman to, to discuss Lebanese nationality upon his spouse and children. This law denies women's equality with the men in terms of nationality and undermines women's statuses as an equal citizen and contradicts the Lebanese constitution, which provides that all Lebanese citizens are equal before the law and enjoy the same civil and political rights. This also contradicts also contradicts many of the international human rights standards by Lebanon, including the, the Convention of the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against the Women International Co Co Covenant on Civil and Political Rights and the Co Co Covenant on the Right of the Children. Yes, I started. I apologize. So these are the three most important issues that my country, and I know that your country faces as well, but, but, but if all of us, all of these nations, Greece, Spain, Egypt, Ukraine, Russia, Palestine, Jordan, all of us. We sit here today, we think in our minds, how can we make the world a better place? If all of our powers got together and took action against these things, as in women's rights, discrimination, terrorism, our world can be a better place. I'd like to thank you now for listening to my speech, and I know that it has struck an accord in your heart. And it's up to us to make this world a better place. Thank you for listening.